Thank you for joining us tonight at the Historic Palace Theater in downtown Greensburg, Pennsylvania. My name is Adam Seifert. On behalf of Westmoreland Cultural Trust, this is the VIP experience as you join us virtually in the palace. The VIP experience is a free weekly live stream concert broadcast directly from the Palace Theater stage. Here, you'll find some of Western Pennsylvania's best bands performing their original songs and talking about what they do and why they do it. Through the support of a grant from the R.K. Mellon Foundation, Westmoreland Cultural Trust has the unique opportunity to highlight the homegrown talents of the Laurel Highlands and beyond. This week's episode of the VIP Experience is brought to you by Smale Auto Group. Smale Auto Group has been family owned and operated for over 75 years. At Smale Auto Group, they are committed to complete customer satisfaction and they have been continually ranked high by their valued customers. If you read the reviews, the representatives at Smale Auto Group are dedicated to the customers. Recently on Google, Todd said, simply the best car buying experience that I have ever had in my life. In my honest opinion, the nicest, most knowledge knowledgeable, hardworking folks in the business. Representing 10 new car franchises, franchises in five service and part centers, Smale offers many options for buying or servicing your automobile. Smale Auto Group is proud to support numerous causes and local, char local charitable organizations, including Westmoreland Cultural Trust. Additional support provided by PWA Wealth Management. PWA Wealth Management uses a process designed to match the client's investment portfolio with their specific needs in the short and long term. PWA balances the relationship between risk and reward with every decision they make with the goal of delivering growth to with protection. PWA Wealth Management delivers the care that you deserve. Westmoreland Cultural Trust would also like to extend a thank you to all of our 2021 corporate partners. With their support, we are able to provide the people of Westmoreland County free and engaging outreach events that stimulate the arts and culture in our community. Today's guest is Pittsburgh's own Tim Vitulo Band. Tim Vitulo fronts the band of his namesake. A seasoned group of top-notch musicians bring Tim's classic Americana songs to life. The Tim Vitulo Band has a sound that is equally framed by Tim's signature guitar style as it is by his voice and songwriting. Having studied music in State College, Pennsylvania, Tim's style has evolved from the jazz influence of his academic life to the mature, rootsy, song-centric vibes of his most recent release. David Fix, Brent McConnell, and Bill Gust round out the Tim Vitulo Band and are a solid unit as in normal times, they perform over 100 shows every year across the Midwest and East Coast. Tim Vitulo Band released two full-length albums, Josephine and Assorted Train Songs in 2015, which is filled with groovy contemporary blues and horn-filled party songs. Josephine was followed up by the more thoughtful and personal Running Out of Time in 2020. Tim Vitulo Band has toured extensively, been featured on radio programs and podcasts such as Saturday Light Brigade, and have opened for national touring acts like Marcus King Band. Tonight, we'll be hearing some choice cuts from Tim and the band and having a chat about inspiration, being an independent musician, and adapting to the current times. We can't wait to get into it. Throughout the show tonight, if you're enjoying what you see and hear, please consider making a donation. All donations received tonight will be split between the band and Westmoreland Cultural Trust so that we can keep supporting local music and making programs like this one. And now, if you guys are ready, Westmoreland Cultural Trust and the Palace Theater here in Greensburg, Pennsylvania are thrilled to welcome Tim Vitulo Band. Weather City haven't been in 40 days since the flood rolled through. Watch the century. They say it's better than, better than it's ever been. Oh, you never know. Waters wash the stones, they say goodbye. Goodbye, hold it for it's gone. 
Thanks so much again. I'm Tim Vitula. We're the Tim Vitula Band. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight on your computers, on your phones, wherever you're listening. We do appreciate it.
listen to the music The wheels keeping time with the saxophone Sound is heavy in the tunnel With the city love to call my own All night dreaming Standing still tonight While the song is flowing Put your jackets on and fly As the lights go down And the record starts to fade I want to be On that glory Or so, searching for the new sound of my car stereo. But those four inch speakers can't play a song worth their weight in gold. So I keep spinning the dials. I'm left on tearing out the driver's window.
Thanks so much again. Hopefully you're still tuning in. Maybe you just joined. Again, I'm Tim Vitullo. We're the Tim Vitullo Band. Such a treat to be here. It uh, is our first time here at the Palace. And uh, we regret that you can't join us, unfortunately. But you're here virtually. And we do appreciate that. Please make sure to donate to Westmoreland Cultural Trust. Help keep great venues like this alive. We sure would appreciate it. And I'm sure you will, too, whenever we can all be together again. <laughs> Chasing me, caught in a whirlpool. The undertow won't let me be. Around and round we go. There's no end that I can see. We're drifting on forever aimlessly. Wind and in the daylight. It didn't used to be this way. Suddenly one night That wind gave me cause to quit I was younger than today Having more fun than I should It's funny how the last time hurt so good Would you show me what to do
Would you show me what to do to earn our daily bread? Must we claim a dying love? Must we bow and genuflect? Cause I've worked these hands today. They're cracked, caked with dirt and rum. And I'm growing tired of searching for a way to make it go. Searching for a way to make enough.
Whew. <laughs> Sounds great, guys. So Tim, David, Brent, Bill, thank you for coming out to Greensburg to perform at the Palace Theater. I'm looking forward to hearing more about your process and the group. Before we get into that, as you watch at home, if you're enjoying the program, please click, please click the link to make a donation. All donations received this week will be split between the Tim Batulo Band and Westmoreland Cultural Trust. We're super proud to offer these free weekly live streams, and it means a lot when you show your support through a donation or by sharing this video on Facebook or even just telling a friend about what we're doing here at the Palace Theater in Greensburg. So Tim Vitulo. Adam. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you at the Palace. Yeah, likewise. Thank you so much for having us. Um, you know, it, what, what a treat to be able to play such a beautiful theater. Well, we're happy to have you here. Um, we're going to chat a little bit. Um, you know, your musical creation, um, it seems to be pretty diverse. So, um, you know, from jazz, then to jam and roots music. What, what were some of the earliest influences that got you interested in music when you were growing up? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, so whenever I, I started playing music, I was, or, or started playing guitar, really, I was kind of that, like, 13, 14, entering high school era. And, and uh, to put that in context, that was, like, the kind of pop punk, Green Day, Blink-182, all those sorts of things were, were on the radio. So obviously that was, you know, like a prevalent, like, oh, cool, like, I think I, I would want to do that. Um, but a friend's dad uh, put on a, a Black Sabbath record, actually, and uh, he he was convinced that was like, this this is what you need to be playing, like whatever you're doing, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. But this is the the thing, and he was totally right because I heard that, and it was like, yep, that's exactly what I want to do. So it started uh, with all those sort of classic rock records, and then worked its way back. I kind of found the the common thread through all that was blues music, and chased that back through you know all the '70s rock bands to all the '60s kind of Brit blues bands to all the kind of early American influences. And then that, that opened the door to jazz and, and folk music and everything as well, kind of American roots blues music. I, personally, I love when people talk about that, that era in the, in the late 90s, 2000s when pop punk music was really popular. Because for me personally, I, I, it touched my life as well, but I love the idea that it, it seemed like accessible. Like you, when you get straight into like a Black Sabbath record, it's, it's a little bit more of a reach talent wise you know for the skill to play something like that where to me i really enjoyed some of that the music you're talking about because of the simplicity of it absolutely yeah yeah and it's it's been very fun now like you know obviously as as you mature as an artist um you know you, you gain appreciation for other genres of music and and certainly i put that style of music on the back burner for a long time and kind of discredited it unfairly um but it's been fun now with you know, however many years of music theory knowledge and everything that I've gained to go back and look at those things critically and say, hey, there, there's a lot of value to be mined in these recordings. Yeah, like some of the lyrics are maybe a little juvenile. You know, you can take <laughs> yeah. the, may, and maybe that's your thing. Like for a lot of people, that's totally their thing. Um, but but to find the value in all of that and, and to come back and and have such a uh, wide breadth of influences. Absolutely. Um, and then there's also like that same simplicity that there's a difference between easy and simple, but there's that same c kind of um, accessibility in some of the blues and some of those other American, for, you know, folk, folk forms and things like that. So I love how that kind of wraps itself back around. Um, speaking of that, I was listening to your album earlier today, Josephine and Assorted Train Songs, um, and that has record has like a lot of like R and B flair with horns, and there's it's groovier, way groovier than the the more the more recent record mm -hmm. that's kind of based more in like country Americana realm sure. and song classic songwriting. So was that a conscious choice or more of just a natural progression for you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely. I, I love I love that style of music and I was listening to a lot of uh, Neo Soul and, and that whole kind of movement that was happening in the 90s um, a lot whenever I made Josephine. And that was definitely something I wanted to distill. So, something that I feel, or, or and maybe it's, it's a minority opinion or a, a controversial opinion, but I think blues has gotten pretty stagnant recently it's kind of very predictable and a lot of the people who are now being looked at as uh kind of torchbearers for that genre i don't i think are doing it a little bit of a disservice in that regard whereas i saw what was happening in neo soul and even if you look at a group like tedeschi trucks band which are so openly welcoming um r&b music and other influences into what they're doing is you know self-proclaimed blues artists that was definitely the intent was to bring more of that color into uh blues song forms 
and see how that melded and see how that all, all those pieces went together and it became something compelling. I hear what you're talking about, and I respect traditionalists personally, but I do see how that can kind of become um, something for a museum and not something for an auditorium, Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, and I mean, like, no one's like no one's going to do it better than Kev Mo right now. Like, <laughs> that thing, like he's the man. He's awesome. Like, And, th- and that's kind of the thing. It's... I'd rather, I'd rather find what the next thing is, or find what the best you is, instead of like you being watered down someone else. There's you know? a there's a, a buddy guy record called Sweet Tea. Yeah, I, yeah, you know what I'm talking record. about. Yeah, <laughs> that's some next level stuff. Yeah. So, um, you're originally from Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so, how have you found the music scene in Pittsburgh to have like changed or evolved over time? Yeah, it's it's fun. Um, we've been active participants long enough to see people come and go. Uh, which is, you know, it, it's good and bad. You know, there, there's a, there's a lifespan to all creative ventures. Like I, I really respected, for example, I, I love Paul Simon. Paul Simon's one of my favorite yeah. artists, and I thought it was a really brave move for him to like shut down Simon and Garfunkel. But the reason behind it was, you know, hey, there's this is the end of the creative statement that I have. Like, there's nothing more I can say after Bridge Over Troubled Water. That's the, the penultimate Simon and Garfunkel experience, which is super cool that that he achieved that or, or felt that he achieved that um so whenever a band goes away maybe necessarily it's not you know on bad terms or for a bad reason um it, it's been really exciting and, and that's something that's been kind of nice the silver lining to have a having a break is to explore the scene more um thoroughly and to catch up like you know we kind of run in kind of rock jam band world which is fun and super great but there's all this great hip-hop and r&b music happening that hey, I finally had time to like sit around the house and listen to it and appreciate it and and get to know these artists that I'd heard maybe in passing on YUP or on the radio station, but hadn't really explored their catalog. So it it's definitely a really exciting um, it's a really exciting place in that regard, and that it's not a high barrier to entry. I think there's a lot of opportunities for a lot of bands at different levels. You know, you can be here, which is awesome. And if you would ask, you know, Brent and me, I think five years ago when we started. be nice um you know and it's just it's that you know it's kind of that classic pittsburgh attitude i think you can work really hard and and uh and and achieve some success but there are people who are willing to listen and, and uh, hear what you have to say if it's something compelling for sure um yeah coming here i'm from chicago and so coming to pittsburgh i love the the scope of the the region but also the it's 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 small enough where you can kind of figure things out but it's big enough that every time I, I meet somebody and I ask them if they know somebody else, I inevitably I'll find like not everybody. It's not a critical mass, mm-hmm. right? There's still there's so many connections still yet to be made. So um, I'm excited about what's happening in the region. Um, so in normal times, you and the band play more than a hundred shows in a year, about right? Is that does that seem fair? Yeah, it, it feels like it too. <laughs> so that's around the Midwest and the East Coast. Um, you know, at a certain point, you had to make that choice to, to, to start booking out of town and, and to, to commit to that. So, like, what did that, like, how did the, you begin that process of making that choice to branch out outside of the Pittsburgh region? Yeah, um, I, I tell everybody who joins this band, I'm, I'm sick in the head. <laughs> I'll be the first to, to admit <laughs> it. Um, yeah, if you got if you got a dumb idea, I'm, I'm in. Let's let's figure out how we can make it work. Uh, and, and it does not go without a lot of failure. Um, Bill wasn't in the band, but the other two guys can surely tell you if you ever ask them. The first couple uh, road trips we took were, I mean, they, they were failures, <laughs> definitely. And, uh, and and I think that's it. You you go out and you you try your best and you try to plan for whatever the road's going to throw at you. And it's absolutely going to make you stretch and have to be flexible and, and uncomfortable. And and uh, you just keep, keep your head on a swivel and, and be willing to learn and never... Never kind of say this is the way it's supposed to be, and if it's not like this, it's wrong. Just you know, continually learn and adapt, and and learn to to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it it's been a it's been an evolving thing, and and certainly whenever we get back to that, whenever that time comes, it's going to look a whole lot different than it did two years ago. So uh, we'll we'll be ready to to continue <laughs> learning and evolving. <laughs> it's coming, yeah. Um, so obviously, in in these times, everyone's kind of take a step back. Um, 
How has, how has like the, the last year affected your creative process? I mean, obviously you, you're not doing 100 shows a year. Yeah. So with the extra time, are there new projects or is it, have you approached your creative process differently in that time? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I kind of, I was talking to someone um, a couple weekends ago about this and uh, it's really easy whenever you have a schedule that busy to kind of stick your head in the sand and stay kind of tunnel vision on hey, I got to finish this record, I got to book these shows, I got to go play those shows, I got to book hotel rooms, I got to, all the things that, that go into it, and you become really task-oriented because it is so, uh, you know, uh, there are so many time constraints and it's so uh, um, competitive to do that and do that sort of thing. So it was kind of nice um, to get an emergency stop in the regard that you kind of had some time to, to pick your head up and, and survey the scene around you. Um, certainly... I've had a lot more time just locally and nationally to, to look at other bands and see what other bands are doing and, and what are people responding to in, in 2020. You know, the, the songs were playing and put on this record, you know, I wrote, you know, in kind of 2017, 2018, and, mm -hmm. and it was a, a long, arduous recording process for us, certainly, and, and not, not helped by the fact that we had so many shows, <laughs> commitments to, to keep up. Um, but, but to be critical about, you know, what are people doing that, that folks are responding to and what are we doing that people are responding to and, and what are we doing that, that people aren't responding to? And how can we maybe borrow some ideas from, from how people are doing things? You know, certainly the, the integration with visual media and, and an online presence is, is certainly become popular and important and I don't foresee it going away. Um, and, and creatively, it's, it's allowed me to do some other cool stuff. I've taken a lot more session jobs, which have been great, which is a, a one of the few things you can kind of do pretty safely. And uh, have even done some like sound tracking work and nice. different things for podcasts, um, which has been really great to get out of my own rut and um, try out some different genres of music, try out some different ideas that maybe, hey, I didn't have a lyric that went with it or I didn't have a, a hook, you know, necessarily that, hey, this, this constitutes a three and a half minute song on a record, but I want to I wanna get out the paints and play a little it bit. It could be a theme that you could ex no, yeah. extrapolate on. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. I remember I heard you had a theme song for the 25 Carrick what they were doing with their live streams uh, mm -hmm. series once is in last March and April. So mm -hmm. uh, it was nice to see your name on that. And, yeah. Um, you know, I really respect your work ethic and, uh, and I, I love your, the work you make. So um, you. we really appreciate you being here. Yeah. And thanks for chatting with us. Um, and you're, you got, you guys have some more songs. We do. Yeah. And, and please don't uh, let the efforts of these guys go unnoticed. It's, <laughs> I'm always quick to remind everyone the the B is is very important in TVB. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, uh, Tim Vitulo Band. So as you're watching at home, uh, please consider making a donation. All the donations will be split between Tim Vitulo Band and Westmoreland Cultural Trust, uh, so we can continue highlighting bands like Tim Vitulo's band and making more programs like this one. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go once again. Westmoreland Cultural Trust is proud to welcome. Timbatulo Band.
quite a price Now I forgot what I wanted to say There's no use in running around We know which is the right way Go Texas at the break of day. Got me in Frisco, Texas at the break of day. Said we're just the way to go. We'll be playing guitar and singing songs on the radio. Stay tuned if you always know what to see.
It sure seems like a fun time I've been postcards and down the windows Who could ever follow you down That dark path that you roll Fear's gonna kill you Wanna drain the life right out your bones How about it, son? Don't you think it's time to Go and get your ass and home Exit Get on back to the beginning you go And to you know the course I want to go And to you know the course I want to go Since the day I met her, why she smiles at me, I never. I wondered since the day I met her, why she smiles at me, I never. Girl, as fine as her, it's been said she doesn't ever sleep. But I run around just for you. Josephine. Josephine. Gonna run around just for you. Oh, Josephine. Josephine. Oh, Josephine. I don't know why. Oh, you make my love in the name.
I don't care how much it hurts I'm gonna stay right with her just to see I don't care how much it hurts I'm gonna stay right with her just to see Oh, please don't be surprised to find You couldn't get perspective from me Go around just for you Josephine, Josephine. I'm gonna run around just for you. Oh, Josephine, Josephine. Oh, Josephine, I don't know why. Oh, you make my love in vain. Just for you, oh Josephine. Josephine. I'm gonna run around just for you, oh Josephine. We are the Tim Petula Band. We're having a great time here. We hope you're having fun tuning in online. Please make sure to donate to Westmoreland Cultural Trust. Help keep the Palace Theater rocking and rolling so we can do fun things like this together again sometime soon.
say to me that we better take it slow. Worry that I'm gonna leave. There's no change of heart to show. I will apologize and always I'll get you. That's not my intention. So sorry to leave, I'll go. Listen to me There's nowhere I'd rather be Standing in the tree Is it one I think correctly spun? Oh, I love your independence Only love can hide a smoking gun to be these colors don't quite run Don't you worry about a thing Listen to me
cigarettes in stereo I'll be Tim Petula Band, David Fix, Brent McConnell, Bill Gust.
Awesome. All right, guys, Tim Vitulo Band. We'll be right back with an encore set, so don't go anywhere. Before we get to that encore set, we are just over one week away from our annual fundraiser, Party at the Palace. This year, Party at the Palace will be a virtual event with so many ways you can engage and help support the Palace Theater and Westmoreland Cultural Trust. On Saturday, February 27th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be right here on Facebook with music from Gary Pratt, Jossian Blaze, Scott Blasey, and many more. We will have raffles for a local liquor basket of cheer and the Eat Your Heart Out local restaurant basket. There will be an online auction with original art and sports memorabilia, plus someone is going to take a pie in the face based on your donations. It's going to be a special night. You don't want to miss it. If you want to be part of the special Zoom room so you can be seen in the online event, you can buy tickets at the Palace Theater website. Those tickets are on sale now. Guys, there's something for everyone at this year's Party at the Palace. Please mark your calendar and join us live on Saturday, February 27th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tonight's guest on the VIP Experience is Tim Vitulo Band. On behalf of Westmoreland Cultural Trust's CEO, April Copas, the board of directors, our staff, and our crew, we'd like to thank Tim Vitulo Band for performing tonight at the Palace Theater. Westmoreland Cultural Trust is a 501c3 nonprofit organization whose mission is to stimulate cultural and economic development in the Westmoreland County region. We appreciate you watching the VIP experience and we'll, we'll be returning every Thursday through March with original local music performed on the historic Palace Theater stage. Next, week's, next week, we are excited to welcome Andy Davis. Andy Davis brings a unique brand of outlaw country mixed with elements of rock music directly to you live from the Palace Theater on February 25th. Andy Davis has been cooking up some new things, and you can see it here first next Thursday, right here, Thursday, February 25th at 7 p.m. We appreciate you spending some time with us and encourage you to make a donation, share this video, or tell some friends about what we're doing here at the Palace in Greensburg. Westmoreland Cultural Trust would once again like to recognize all of our 2021 corporate partners and provide a special thanks to this week's sponsors, Smale Auto Group and PWA Wealth Management. Make sure you follow Tim Petulo Band on Facebook and Instagram. Check out their album, Running Out of Time, on Spotify or wherever you stream your music. Ladies and gentlemen, to play us out with a special encore set live from the Historic Palace Theater stage in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, once again, Tim Vitula.
If I were the president, things wouldn't be so bad. Is all I'll ever have. We could be flying high, forty thousand feet on a Sunday, grounded in a restaurant, under the vacant lights of a cafe. It doesn't matter. We're boots of traction. We're not the Find the words to say. Oh no! When the skies turn gray, don't bury yourself under your bed. The Lord, hope I cry out loud. Oh, it might fade just the moments that make. Feet on a Sunday, grounded in a restaurant. Near the vacant lights of a cafe, it doesn't matter. We're boots and track job. We're not the only ones who can't find the words to say. Set aside your problems for that designer cup of coffee. Isn't it the little things that keep each day from being sad? Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I've been Tim Vitilla. You've been great. We've had a great time here tonight. Big thanks to Adam, to Westmoreland Cultural Trust, to the Palace Theater, to our staff here, Tyler and Tony in the back. Thanks for making it sound good. Thanks for making it fun up here. We're going to get the band back up here. We're going to play one more song for you guys. <laughs> thanks again. Please don't forget to donate. Help everybody out. And uh, stay tuned and uh, tune in next week for Andy Davis. <laughs> It's burning out slowly Just like two cigarettes Can't kill you again I see the people All stuck in reverse They don't know that Why won't you ever tell them so?
for your answer. Now would you please let me take the floor, wake up, gotta get moving, break those chains and free your mind. Theater. You've been great. We've had a great time this evening. Check us out online at official TVB on social media at timvitulo.com. It's probably linked down below wherever you're watching. Check it out there. We'd love to connect with you again sometime soon. It's been a treat. Don't forget to donate. David Fix, Bill Gus, Brett McConnell. We are the Tim Vitulo Band. Thank you. Have a great night. Mm -hmm.